audio jungle Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, let's create a pretty cool cinematic title animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new composition and let's call it Main Comp. And set it 1920 by 1080, set this frame rate 60, duration make it 5 seconds long and hit OK. And now let's type a text. So select this text tool and go to paragraph. If you can't see this paragraph option, then go to window and check this option paragraph. Alright, and now click on this option center text and then go to character and select your favorite font style so i'm using this century gothic font style and i will provide a link in the description for this font style so you can download this font style from that link if you want and now set it to regular and set the size of this font 120 pixel and set this tracking amount zero and hit enter and now let's type over here whatever you want to type so i'm typing cinematic and go to alignment and let's align this text in center so click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically again if you can't see this align then go to window again and check this option align all right and now i'm going to set this anchor point in the center of this text so select this pan behind tool and make sure your snapping is turned on and set this anchor point in the center something like this and now select this move tool and select this text layer open this text layer and click on this animate and add a tracking effect and now let's animate this tracking amount so go to very beginning of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on tracking amount and go to the end of this animation and set this tracking amount something around 75 and hit enter all right and now let's play this so as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animation so select these keyframes and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and then go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and click on this edit a speed graph all right and now select this point hold this handle and drag it like that and go to on frame number 30 which is equal to half a second according to 60 fps and hold this handle and set it over here maybe and create a nice curve something like that and close this graph editor and close this text all right and now select this text layer right click on that go to layer style and add a gradient overlay effect and open this gradient overlay and click on this edit gradient and pick this point and pick a nice gray color and pick this point and make it pure white and pick this point and set it something like that all right and now hit ok and close this gradient overlay and now hit ctrl and scroll up to zoom in and select this text layer and let's create a duplicate of this text layer so hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this duplicate layer below this main text layer and now select this bottom text layer and go to this character and set this tracking amount negative 10 hit enter and now select this bottom text layer open this open this layer style open this gradient overlay and click on this edit gradient and pick this point and make it dark gray and pick this point and make it gray color and add a point in the center of this gradient editor and pick this color white maybe and set it over here basically create a fake 3d kind of effect and hit ok and now let's close this gradient overlay and close this one and now select the both text layer open this open this text and let's increase the size of this and open this text layer also and i'm going to parent this bottom text layer source text with this main text layer source text 
So pick this pick whip and attach this with main layer source text, something like this. And now if you want to change your text, you have to change in only this main text layer. And now let's import a video footage. So go to project window, right click on that, go to import file and select this file that I found on pixabay.com and I will provide a link in the description for this. So once you have downloaded, select this and click on import. And now right click on that, a rename and let's call it crystal. And drag this crystal into this main composition. All right, and click on fit and let's play this. So as you can see, it's looking something like this. So right click on this layer and go to time and go to time stretch. And as you can see, this is 14 second long video clip. So I'm going to make this five second long. So set this a stretch factor, maybe 38. And now this is five second and 21 frame long. Hit okay. And now right click again and go to time and click on this time reverse layer. So as you can see, it's looking something like this. And select this crystal, hit S on the keyboard to open this scale property and set this scale value maybe 200% and hit enter. And now close this and select this crystal and go to effect and preset and search for hue and saturation effect. So this is our hue and saturation. Let's apply this effect on crystal and check this option colorize and set this colorize saturation 100. Hit enter and let's pick a blue color and set this value around 210 degree and hit enter. All right. Now let's import a lens flare file. So go to project window, right click on that, import file and select this lens flare file. And I have also provided a link in the description for this flare. So go to the link and download this flare and click on import, hit OK and drag this flare into this main composition and change this blending mode. If you can't see this blending mode option, then click on this toggle switch edge and change this blending mode normal to a screen. All right, and now select this, hit P on the keyboard to open this position property and go to the end of this animation and set this position on this character C over here maybe. All right, and now let's animate this. So go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to very beginning of this animation and just set this lens flare over here. All right, and now select these both keyframe, hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor and select this point, hold this handle and drag it like that and go to on frame number 30, hold this handle and drag it like that and create a curve, something like this and close this graph editor. And let's close this and let's play this again. All right, so as you can see, it's looking nice. Now, go to layer, new, and take a new null object and right click on that, rename, and let's call it transform. Hit enter and select this text layer and select this flare also and pick this pick whip and attach this with transform, something like that, and go to on one second and select this transform hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value 125 percent hit enter and select these both keyframes hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor select this point hold this handle and drag it like that and close this graph editor and now close this transform all right and now go to on frame number 30 which is equal to half a second according to 60 fps and select these three layers hit t on the keyboard to open this opacity and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on opacity and go to very beginning of this animation and set this opacity zero percent and hit enter 
all right and now let's close this and as you can see it's looking something like this and now let's create a adjustment layer so go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer and i'm going to call it adjustment all right and now select this adjustment layer and go to effect and preset and search for curves effect so this is our curves let's apply these curves on this adjustment layer and now set this rgb curves something like this all right and now change this rgb to blue channel and set this blue channel like that and now let's apply one more effect so go to search box and search for tint and drag this tint effect on this adjustment layer and set this tint amount 40 percent and hit enter so as you can see it's looking something like that all right and now it's almost done so click on this toggle switch edge and turn on motion blur and now go to very beginning of this animation change this to full resolution and click on fit and go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye